Everyone at Panlogic, thank you and Nesta for your generosity in hosting tonight to sponsor it. We're going to have to go to the And as you say, how, how appropriate it is we're here since we're talking about perhaps an endowment, of course, Nesta is endowed, um, and also all your support that Nesta gives through the Innovation and Giving Fund and the Digital R&D Fund, which you mentioned, and both of which support the government's drive to increase giving. Jeremy, it's a great pleasure to have you. Um, here and also to have such a distinguished guest list amongst us um, and panel. Um, we look forward to hearing your thoughts, Jeremy, um, around new thinking to raise funds for the arts, um, which will deliver a sustainable, resilient and innovative art sector. And I know you've said both publicly and privately how you wish your legacy to be an endowment for the arts, which will both support and nurture a uh, vast array of artistic talent that we have here in the UK. Thank you for taking the time out and with us today. Um, just in terms of the event, um, after Secretary of State's address and then the Q&A which I'll chair, um, I'm going to ask Mike Troughton uh, to actually step forward and present some of the findings from the white paper, but also, perhaps more importantly, to interleaf those with his own experience. Um, as a founder of a targeted crowdfunding platform, we felt actually to bring real world experience to the paper would add extra value. And after that, I'll ask the panel to take their seats uh, to address the keynotes that they've heard. Um, and then it'll be open to the floor, and we'll try to finish around about 7.40, 7.45. Jeremy, just before I pass over to you, just two points I'd like to make uh, at this point when I've got the lectern. Um, the first one is perhaps a bit of bad news. I, I don't feel uh, that there is a silver bullet, a silver digital bullet, which when I go and talk to philanthropists or funders, or directors in museums, sometimes I feel that they're looking for. Rather, for each of you, it will be something different which works in your organization, in your organization depending on the culture of your organization, uh, depending on the funders you have around you, your friends and how you, how you work with these various players. <coughs> what will be important will be to trial many different things, to find out what works for that environment, for your environment. Um, and to get engagement and sponsorship from your board to allow you to do that from your directors. Perhaps one area, though, that all of us will need to really think about is data. And as someone once said, permission is the only real currency online. Without permission, it's impossible to have a dialogue. Without permission, it's impossible to provide recommendations. So getting permission to talk to someone is essential. And my second point is perhaps one of hope <coughs> which is, as the art sector, you will be no doubt going down a similar channel to which other sectors have gone down. Uh, and most notably and most relevant perhaps is the charity sector, uh, which works in some similar veins and has some, some parallels. Five years ago, the charity sector equally was looking at how it was going to use the, art, the, uh, the digital media. And uh, I, it's very difficult to give numbers because some charities do and some charities don't use digital means. But roughly, and it's quite vague, about 3% of giving is online, was online in 2009. By 2010, it was about 7%. But some more interesting figures are that the larger charities who are able to put more resource into it can achieve up to 20% of their giving or come through online. And the other interesting statistic is the Cancer Research UK put out its annual report the other day. And it said that excluding legacies, 90% of its funding was for, for, for gifts of under £10. So there is real hope to be able to raise large amounts of money um, through small donations from large sectors of society. My last point is the emergence of Just Text Giving. Just Text Giving, I believe, is a seminal moment. It's a moment I would encourage you all to go out and try and make use of it in whichever way you can, because mobile giving does create that emotion and that immediacy which sometimes is lacking through some of the other channels. And it won't be just about raising money through Just Text Giving, but it will be about building a supporter base, which in the future will provide larger gifts and potentially legacies to you. Thank you.